high. So today we are going to see a very common condition which is called a pelvic shift or a list uh, which can be because of many reasons commonly like uh, disc problems, uh, facet joints, or the spine, pelvis, sacroiliac and many others. So if you see this patient, he is shifted towards his right side. So the right pelvis is shifted towards the right side and if you see the thoracic spine and the shoulders are shifted more towards the left side. So we generally name the pelvic shift or the list according to the thoracic shift. I will not call this as a right pelvic shift, I will call this as a left shift because of the thoracic spine shifting towards the left. Now, how do you correct this? What is the maltherapy technique to correct this? I'll ask the patient to hug themselves from the left, left hand. I'm going to stabilize his trunk and the rib cage like so. I'm going to cradle his right side pelvis shift and I'm going to side glide it towards the left like this. And I'm observing any aggravation or any reduction in the patient's symptoms. Well, initially symptoms can aggravate or increase, but we would like to do that, hold that for a few seconds and then relax. We do this repetitive movements uh, because initially the symptoms can increase and slowly it can lower it down. Now you can compile this side glide with flexion as well as extension. So I side glide first, hold it and then I can ask the patient to extend. Come back, do this a couple of times sir. Come back. Alright. So that's how you can correct the pelvic shift or the list in a standing position. Well, this technique can be done in a prone position as well, just to start with. But generally the patients have shift or the pelvic list in a standing position.